Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's put our new toy to use by getting ourselves out of here. Because <laughs> as I said before in the last part, there is no way out of here until you get the item because you can only claw shot the one target at a time. And yeah, as you can see, you have to go from one target to the next. Uh, but this is quite the strategic climb, actually, which is a little bit more interesting than going down. Because you've got the threat of the keys and other flying enemies as well as grown, grown enemies around the area. So these fans look strangely like claw shot targets and sure enough they are! So just keep uh, pressing the B button to go from one area to the next. Do not press the A button to let go like you would normally. Gotta get used to your new toy and this is a great way to do it because of the way that they have it structured. Uh, there's the next one. Just keep going up, keep going up. I don't think there's anything on the, the side routes here. Or at least I, I don't remember there being anything. If there is, I'm gonna take another lap through here, I suppose. Am I on? Oh, there we go. I didn't notice that with the um, status screen in the way. Hmm, I guess just gotta grab that. Now this opens the gates. Remember I said that was the way back? Yeah. Now from here, I don't think there's any you can get any higher from here but you can do this to get to about where that gate was and then claw shot oh, too far over oh wait, no wait this is the right target I'm aiming for here oh 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 that's a switch that closes when you ah my mistake the this, this switch reacts with your weight, and it, it goes back up if you're not on it. Oh, I can get it from here? Very nice. Didn't know that. Uh, okay, so I gotta zoom through there with the claw shots. Is, this, is there a target I can grab through? Oh, didn't notice that. There we go. <laughs> I double derped. And now we got an action sequence to really put these suckers to good use. You've got these pillars, but these pillars... They fall. <laughs> they slide down these... I guess they're oily shafts and they fall down into the, to the abyss. So what you gotta do is quickly shimmy yourself from one to the other. Oh, and you can, you can Z target them. So hold the Z button. As you're going across this, very handy. No, wait, wait, where's the next one? Where's the next one? Or can I just like drop off here? Okay, I can drop off there. <sighs> Please be a compass. Compass, compass, compass. By the way, in this dungeon, you're looking for two poles and two heart pieces. Just saying, if you're if you have like a if you're expecting some sort of list or something, or you know to know what you're looking for. Um. So anyway, as you can see, they all fell off the things eventually. But I did it so fast, it was hard to even notice. That's probably why they let you Z-target the other targets in case, uh, you know, like you're not fast enough to get across there or something. Alright, we're back outside, and yet we have another obstacle course here. This is what I mean about the dungeon going a, a completely different direction once you get the dungeon item. Because once you get it... It becomes more of a obstacle course. Oop. Come on. Cut it off. There we go. You gotta hit it by the vine. But you gotta stun it first, otherwise it could get in the... Oh, I guess maybe not. Uh, wait, wait. So yeah, it turns into more of like a... Obstacle course of sorts, and it's pretty neat, I have to say. Alright, from here you go to there. I'll get it as high up as I possibly can to save some time because Link's no! Oh, because Link's climbing is slow and haphazard. Do not touch the corner. <laughs> there we go. And this takes us back to over here. This is where we uh, built that bridge and hit our face into the wall most recently. <laughs> but this, more importantly, leads you back to the main room. And now we are able to take other paths through here. And it's it's not we aren't going to the middle path just yet. That's that's after we do something in here. We gotta get um 
Oh, my heater just turned on. <laughs> we gotta get that bulb down. And we can't, we can't do that from the ground level. And I really should turn off my heater because that's gonna be well, like white noise in the video. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there we go. I normally turn that off, but I forgot this time. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go the other route here. And since I have the double claw shots, I can do this a lot easier. I can just do that, and then like that. Otherwise, normally I would have to use a um, Uka to fly there. If you recall. <laughs> Remember the dragon that broke the bridge in this area? Well, we have another way to get across. I believe these are pea hats, if I'm not mistaken. These, these guys right here, they look a lot uglier than your typical pea hat, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm unsure if they're an actual pea hat. I'm pretty sure they are a pea hat. And you use them to get across using your claw shots. Uh, you can Z-target them quite just as easily as that uh, first obstacle course room where you had to go across those falling pillars. And now that we are in this room again, and we have two claw shots, we can now solve the puzzles within. Because, as I showed you before, you can't grab onto something and then grab onto something else bef like before, but now you can, so I can do that. And from there, I can look for a spot to grab onto quickly. <laughs> Dear Lord, is there anything else I can do from here? No, I can just drop here, good. <laughs> and watch it fall, whew. All right, next spot. It seems really treacherous, but it's actually very safe. Um, oh, from here. Just gotta look for your friendly neighborhood claw shot targets. And what? How do I get over there? Because <laughs> there's a chest there, and is there an Uka in this room? Because there, yeah, there's no. I forgot how to get over there. Or is it just... No, yeah, because that wall is in the way, and... Okay, there's more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> uh, some chew jelly, if you would like it. Uh, let's, let's just attempt to climb around here and see what else we can explore, I guess. What is that? Must be an enemy on the upper floor there can't reach anything from there, really? I'm, I'm up pretty high. I can go back here, but that doesn't help me unless I, I miss the route. <laughs> Maybe there was something to grab onto if I were to use that target and hit it from the other side? Like Maybe I just didn't see the target because I wasn't at the right angle? Ah, okay. The rebarb. I shouldn't disregard things so quickly. <laughs> ah! Stop snarling, teething me! <laughs> well, it's snarly, teething. Mm -hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is the dead end corner. I am once again baffled! But kind of in a good way. I kind of like to be baffled because it's. It's more rewarding to solve a puzzle. <laughs> Alright, is there anything I can do from here? Ceiling, ceiling, no ceiling. Maybe I need to get higher. Maybe that was my issue before, that I couldn't reach that target. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, like... What can I do from here? doesn't seem like I can do something, unless it is a matter of dropping down onto something. Ah, okay, I thought that was a pit. Progress! And from here, I obviously can go up there, but stun and cut them off, if at all possible. There we go. Can I just like, yeah, I can latch onto it now. I didn't think I'd be able to reach, but I can! 
And from here is a switch. Oh, missed it, apparently. I'm supposed to go a little lower. I, I seen something on the ceiling to Huh. Eh, that's fine. Pretty sorry, I seen something on the ceiling, but I'm derping a lot this part, so it's kinda normal. <laughs> Can I get no? No I'm stranded. Oh wait, wait. I missed that. It's impossible to get stranded. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. In case you don't realize, I'm trying to nick the edge as high as I possibly can to, um... Uh, there's two chests still that I'm missing. Oh, wait, wait, there's... Ooh. Oh, my. That's quite the jump, I have to say. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna use this door as sort of a checkpoint. And... Big Deku Baba there. See, if I, if I fall into the hole now by making a mistake or something, I'll reset at that door rather than the um, the very, very beginning door of this obstacle course, and I really don't want to do that. And I got a red rupee. Delightful. Uh, oh boy. Oh my. <laughs> Cutting... Go oh, jeez. I forgot about that. <laughs> Cutting corners. It's this. This is the path. I thought it was on the other end. That's why I haphazardly rolled myself over the edge. And there we go. Awesome. I guess that's for the uh, uh, giant Deku Baba in the other room that we just seen. The game is good about giving you items that you need as you go, as I said before. So I might as well equip those. No, wait, not, not over my claw shots. Um, I don't see myself using the boots all that much. I mean, this is an aerial dungeon after all. I use them to demonstrate that plummeting trick, but yeah, that was about it. Um, I would like you to... Or I, I should say I would like to... See if I can throw it on you, but... <laughs> like... Well, not throw it on him, like, use myself as a, uh, ugh, like a human bomb or something to make things a, l a little bit easier. Because you remember I had uh, quite a few issues managing to hit that guy with a bomb before, just because of sheer timing issues. Like, I I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Works. It just saves so much more time. And whoop. Oops, didn't mean to do that. What, what, uh, whatever. So now that I took care of that... Boop. No prize, really? No prize at all for that. I, I was expecting, like, a rupee or something. Like some rupee of decent value, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess they just want you to kill the main portion of it. Otherwise, it'll get in your way. Um, first gotta take care of you, obviously. Because my next target is up here. And, uh-oh. Where's the next spot? Where is... Oh, there, 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 there! Uh! <laughs> I should look a little bit further ahead, actually. I'm not doing so. <laughs> Chests. Oh my, that's... that's treacherous. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Do you see that thin path that I gotta traverse to get that chest? Can I, like, go around the corner? Yes, I can. That's much, much safer than trying to walk across it. Dear Lord. And there we go. Get up there. I was worried that I have to walk there, and that would, that would really suck. <laughs> um, I should probably cut you loose. Or can I? Oh, there we go. Now walk yourself off the edge, please. Thank you. <laughs> See, it, it's so nice when enemies cooperate with you. And do not drop down. Oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> and there we go. 
Alright, where to from here? Well, I can do that, but I gotta take care of... Because I want to clear out this room of treasure. I can't shoot them with the... I know those are keys. Don't don't try to fool me. There we go. I, I, it was like the, the shots were going right through them or something. Okay, and then we use this sledge to do the same. Oh, jeez, that did not look pretty. Please do not reset the room. <laughs> I should say reset my positioning in the room. And I'm gonna get myself as far over as I can just to be safe. And grab... Get surprise attacked. And grab this chest, which contains a piece of heart! Yeehaw! It's been a while since we've seen one of those, huh? <laughs> it's because I'm not doing any more side quest parts lately. I I've been focusing mostly on the, um... The side... I mean, the heart pieces more than the pole souls, because the heart pieces are immediately beneficial to you as opposed to the pole souls. So I figure that would be a lot better for the walkthrough than doing both the pole souls and heart pieces. It also keeps it more organized in a way. Alright, now from here... Gotta do some more aerial acrobatics, which I can apparently Z-target these. Mm, more vines? Okay. Alright, two more chests, but it looks like I gotta go up further for it. Wait, actually, I should check my map to make sure I'm not screwing myself out of chests. Uh, yeah, because those rooms lead back on their own paths. Okay, so I'm good. And now you go from to here. And I forgot where you go from here. <laughs> can I just like plop? Oh, I can. Very nice. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. We got another, we got another tough guy here. <laughs> they try so hard, but they fail so badly. <laughs> oh, actually, I failed that one time <laughs> because I kept swinging and he was in invincible mode. Because you know, you after after your uh, enemy is in recovery, it doesn't take any damage. Mm, ooh, wow, purple rupee. You don't see them drop by enemies very often. And, oh, actually, I shouldn't have gone through this room. I should have saved that for the next part. So, because I'm at, like, 17 minutes in the recording. At least that's what it says. So, what I'm going to do here is get myself all set up with Uka here. Because i got to charge up the camera as well before I finish the dungeon. So, I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.